Alrighty. We are rolling out of here. We got to go to the yard. And we need to get our trailer, I guess, next Thursday. I guess my trailer, annual trailer inspection is due, right? So they want me to go to the yard and get that done. So we're driving to the yard. I understand that the other video, yesterday's video that you, uh, that you seen was probably for some of you guys. I don't want to say and hope, hopefully it's not a truck driver because really that was a very informative video that I put up. I really myself enjoyed it because that really does and that they're telling you about the new hours of service as well. That uh, they are actually in the process of uh, redoing the hours of service. They're wanting to take the uh, mandatory 30 minute break out of there. They're wanting to change the split so it's no longer the 8 and 2. Uh, so they're gonna be tr they're trying to change it up a little bit but I found it to be very very informative and when I watched it I got a hold of the people that made that video and I said I would love to be able to copy this and put it up on my you know put it on my channel because I know some of you guys are truck drivers as well and might find that very informative so now I understand soccer mom or somebody like that. It, it, it's not going to be very interesting to them because it doesn't have nothing to do with with a four wheeler. I mean, hell, you could drive from California all the way to New York City nonstop, and who cares if you're tired and you got to slap yourself in the face to to stay awake? Um, because the law or the rules or the government or whatever they don't care if you if if you guys drive tired but we as truck drivers we are governed by the government by fmcsa about certain things that we can do and certain things that we can't do and uh personal conveyance has always been a very super topic when it comes what can you do what can't you do and uh and the thing is drivers are getting in trouble because they are actually told by dispatch to do the wrong thing okay now you're thinking well my dispatcher told me to do this it must be okay ladies and gentlemen if you are a truck driver and you drive your truck you must know what the rules and the regulations are even if you don't like them to keep yourselves from getting in trouble it is your livelihood it is your cdl not your dispatcher your dispatcher can give a crap if you get pulled in and you get shut down because it has nothing to do with them it has nothing to do with them at all so they can give two shits and if you tell Mr. D.O.T., well, my dispatcher told me to, to, to do this. Do you honestly think he or she is going to stand there and say, Oh, yeah, I told him to do that. Because they're going to protect their asses. So you must protect yours. Because you are the captain of your ride, of your truck, of your semi. Nobody else can tell you what to do. So that's why I put that up. If there's any, if there's any doubt or what you can or can't do, I'm telling you right now, watching that video will clear up. And I'm sure there's going to be questions in there that you're going to, maybe you still don't understand something. I put the link to them down in the description box. Get a hold of them and ask them questions. And they'll be more than happy to answer them. There ain't no question a stupid question. But what is stupid is getting caught because you didn't understand it. Now that's, in my opinion, 
stupid. So I'm hoping. I, I understand that's not going to get a million uh, looks or, uh, or or anything like that. But it is very informative. And just go to the link. They got more videos about the hours of service. And and this guy knows what he's talking about. But anyway, we got to go to Lincoln. And we, like I said, I got to get a trailer inspection. Now, I'm not loaded. I'm not even dispatched to go pick up a load. But I'm driving on duty. I, I am, I'm not off duty. I'm driving on duty. Because why? Because it's a work-related thing. My dispatcher told me I had to move to go get a trailer inspected or get my annual inspection done on my trailer. So it is an on-duty movement because of that. And that's why I'm on duty, I'm driving. So I am eating up my 14 right now, even as we speak. So if my dispatcher doesn't find me a load, I'm going to crunch my day because my clock is moving. So hopefully she can find me a load and the mechanic where I work at can get this trailer inspected or do whatever he has to do and she can find me a load and get me out of there so I can go pick it up before my 14 hour day is done. I will keep you guys up on this because uh, <laughs> there's a little more behind this but I won't go into it. I'm not going to embarrass my company because of one person but uh, you gotta li don't listen to your dispatcher don't listen you must know the rules you must know the regulations because you're going to probably be told it's okay to do something when it's not and trust me when you have to step forward in front of D Mr. D.O.T. or Mrs. D.O.T. your dispatcher is not standing there in uh, beside you you're there by yourself and you're going to have to explain why did you drive off duty on personal conveyance you better have a good reason and it better not be work related but anyway with that being said we're on the way I just got a message on my welcome but we're on the way to the yard to get an annual inspection done so we'll be right back. Hey ladies and gentlemen, look at that truck in front of me and tell me if you notice anything that is kinda out of the out of sync. On the right side he's got a set of duels, but on the left side he's got super singles. He don't even have match, uh, match tires on that. You see that? Look if you look on his uh, driver's side, yep, that's a that, that's a set of super singles. But over here he's got a set of duels. I never saw a mismatch set of tires like that. You guys recognize this road? We are picking up our load at Quality Pork. Yes, yes. We're going to be going to Philadelphia with this load. I just told my load is ready and ready to be loaded.
It's ready. Oh wow. Got lots of parking over here. We don't have to park here and hog up the uh wow. This is this is great man. Normally there's something all through here. What they quit parking here or what? I'm parking here. Good hot 
cup of coffee is waiting up ahead And the rhythm of the highway sings along Jamming gears has got to be a fever Guys men become addicted to the grind It takes a special breed to be a truck driving man And a steady hand to hold that load behind Big wheels rolling Big wheels rolling, moving on The big wheels rolling, I gotta keep them going Big wheels rolling, moving on
third lane over there, that far, far right lane, that's that's the ramp for that because that's an uphill grade, right? But no, we're gonna keep going. Definitely gonna keep going. Hello guys! Come on! Ooh, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> They're going to break their necks to get up here. Oh, gee whiz. <laughs> Guys, we are done for today. Yes, we are. We all done. Oh, yeah. Well, guys, we are in LaSalle, Illinois. We are at the Sap Brothers. Yep. Went in, got us a nice hot shower. We did. Yep. And, uh, of course, the only thing that was open to eat was, uh, Subway. They have a Burger King here, but they weren't open. And they don't really have a real, true, honest-to-God restaurant, but they had a Subway. So that's what we ended up having tonight, Subway. But I met a real, real good, good person. I, I'm real bad with names. He told me what his name was, and be dang if I could remember what it was. But, uh, come to find out the guy, he, he, he knows how, well, he tells me, he showed me some pictures, but he knows how to build computers. And, uh, he was showing me one of his computers that he built for himself and one that he built for a friend. But, uh, real nice guy, and he subscribed to our channel. I, you know, I, I promised that. I sure didn't mean to forget what your name was, but uh, you know what? Hold up, maybe, maybe we can tell you, cause he did subscribe to our channel. Maybe if I just go in there and see, I may have to. Yeah, I I have to actually go to my comp uh my com my computer but I will I'll, fi I'll find out who you but a real nice guy anyway and uh, I want to thank him because uh, I had a good conversation and sometimes that is good for us drivers right to have a good conversation and uh, so it was real good and uh, he didn't snob me you know what I'm saying uh, he closed up uh, subway I was his last person that that got something and uh, he actually came over and talked and stuff. And I thought that was cool. But anyway, we are done for today. Let's sell. Tomorrow, we're really going to kick butt. And uh, my plan is to be in Philadelphia by noon. I mean, when I say 12 or, uh, or, or even probably morning time. Because I'm going to be there early. Um... What's his name? Uh, not the subway guy. I'm talking about somebody else. Now, I know he's a busy individual, but it would be cool if... Let me scroll down here. Joel McGrath. If you happen to be in the area, I'm going to be early. I, I will be early, I promise. Because uh, I got a radio show I got to do 6 o'clock that evening. So I'm planning on probably 12, 1 o'clock, give or take. Uh, that's the time I'm planning in the afternoon on Sunday to be sitting over there in Philadelphia uh, at, at my customer. I'll be parked outside the gate, but that's where I'm going to be for Monday morning. So, I mean... He's a busy man. He, he he has a towing company, so he may not have time. But if you do, so uh, it would be nice to see him. I saw him once. We have an interview with him, and he's already on our uh, on our video. But he just seemed like a pretty nice guy, and I'd like to uh, uh, once again see him if if he happens to come by. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and close it out. It is uh, what time is it? 
2302 so that would be what 902 I think that's what it is no <laughs> 1102 see whiz it's 1102 and uh, so we're gonna get ready to go to bed I want to thank you guys for following and uh, we'll see you tomorrow so y'all hey if you're not subscribed to us check us out hit the subscribe if you like what you see hit the like button you know the routine right yeah you know why because I got I know the people out there are very very intelligent so you know what to do if you're not subscribed just hit that subscribe button and we appreciate that that being said we're out of here and we'll catch you on the next one later